Okay, band rocks. You want to see something pisses you off? Okay, I found this for these people that got here. A little have to scrape or blunt type thing. I'm going to kind of show you in the mirror. I was out there for 25 minutes and they pulled up not too far from my car and two guys jumped out and the rest is history. I'm moving to a different spot because uh, it's just not worth it to be out there with two other people especially when they're, I know more spots than probably they do so anyway I'm going to get out of here and head down towards the river later. I want to apologize for not taking you guys along on these hunts. I've actually been hunting and finding quite a few. I'll show you when I get home, but the gnats here in southern Indiana are just so bad. Um, I've got off on and I've got, it's called Buggins, which is, um, does a pretty good job. It's like a combination. I'm out here at Bird Point Ridge. You got me a nice point here. Oh, we got a good rain last night. Yeah. I went to my first spot and you saw the result of that. Two other guys come walking up on me. It just pisses me off. Um, and then one of the other favorite spots I went to, or that I normally go to, it had two other people out in it. And uh, I think it's funny, you know, most of you guys on YouTube, you hunt year round like I do. We have what I call part timers that only come out when it's. Uh, when it's about 70 degrees and we have three inches of rain and I don't know just drives me nuts so anyway we're gonna see if we can't find some points um, I'm like I said I'm out here at Bird Point Ridge and uh, there's just there's all kinds of stuff out in here mainly small stuff but you just never know it's so muddy the river got up and blew it all out again which is great because like I say the uh, Last time it did this, I think for the entire summer, I think I found about 55 or 60 points out of this site. But uh, anyway, I'm not up on top of the hump. I'm hunting down here by the water just to see if, uh, if I can see anything else. Um, I'll get up on top of the hump in a little bit. I found a, the base of a really nice turkey tail out here the other day and I didn't videotape it because again, the bugs were just horrible. And uh, they're still bad. They're still chewing all over me, but at least, uh, at least they're at least bearable today compared to what they were the other day. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling. Later. This is an awesome looking little point. Check this guy out. All the tips there. Yeah. Check that out. Got like an impact fracture or something on the back of it. That's really neat. Cool. Later. Should have kept my camera on. It wasn't two seconds later. I took two steps. This one's there. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I don't know if you can kind of see the ground. Like, what happened was the river came up and it blew all this stuff. And it's got these great big piles of just uh, flint. And I mean, like literally, you can just kind of see them. All that is just material all the way down through here. And that's why I say, you know, I could come out here and hunt for ever and ever and ever and you still won't find them all because, and there's tiny. And there's so much stuff on the ground. So much stuff. So I can find a live action here. I don't show a whole lot of me hunting. For those of you that do, you guys have to do a lot of editing. So, anyway. Alright, we're going to see if I can find another one here real quick. Um, I'm going to hunt this until about 5.30. And then I'm going to go to another spot. Just down the bridge. bigger points in it. We're going to see if we can find a, a doozy down there. So, still trying to find a live action one here. Never tried to do this.
some big old material and lots of it. All right, later. Okay, I said I'd show you this point. This is that one in my last uh, video. Um, this portion of it right here is really heavily ground. Uh, then I'm assuming it's just because it's been kind of busted again. Um, but I would say that that's some kind of Thebes-ish point. It's really cool. Quite a big point, honestly. Um, you know, but just awesome. It's real dark and nice. I don't know. Can't remember what I've shown and what I haven't. Found this little guy. I think I actually videotaped that one. Um, this one was in the same hunt. Uh, another one. Got a little bit of an ear ding on it. But pretty cool. A very, very ugly triangle point. Got a, a hole in the back of it. Um, Preformed blade type thing. Nothing too exciting. Uh, pretty cool side notch. Again, kind of got the original part on there, the core. Uh, this was the other bird point that I found out of Bird Point Ridge. Actually, found it out of there yesterday, I do believe. But, and then obviously, this is what I found today. Um, these are wet, I just got done cleaning them. A little bitty cool. I don't know, it's, it's just different for that site all these other ones are pretty pretty you know pretty normal typical stuff this I didn't videotape but it's that blunt and a little busted ear type thing this is kind of cool I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not See how that's kind of got a groove all the way down the middle of it. It's not a banner or anything like that, um, but it might be like an abrasion stone. I think is what those are called. Um, I have a, a bigger one. I found one of my last hunts, uh, but it's really smooth. Kind of neat. Somebody told me that it was for uh, sharpening bone awls and things like that. But kind of cool. As you can hear, I don't know if you heard that or not, but it's getting ready to get nasty out here. It's actually starting to rain now a little bit. Um, you know, all the families that were affected out there in Oklahoma, I mean, I just can't imagine. I'm a school teacher and you know, what some of those guys did for those kids and the ladies that worked you know with those kids day in and day out you know if we were all put in that situation not so sure that everybody would react the same way that you guys did so um good job good job huh? anyway ooh, there's a little lightning maybe uh maybe it is raining real good tonight and i've got graduations the next two nights so i won't be out until Friday morning, but I'm not going to lie, I've never seen so many arrowhead hunters in all my life today. Um, went to two or three different spots, and there's people there, different cars there every single time. Later.